would say we were good together. I'm Robin if you're new to my channel. Today's video is a continuance of my 2021 Fall Clean and Decorate With Me series. Last week's video was strictly cleaning motivation and if you missed that video I'll leave a link below in my description box. Today I'm back to fall decorating. I had previously filmed a video transforming my living room from late summer to early fall using simple neutral decor items without breaking off the pumpkins. I've got my fall home tour video coming up so I thought this was the perfect time to get my pumpkins out and get my living room completed with all the fall touches before I filmed my home tour. So sit back, enjoy the calm music, and watch me add even more fall coziness to my living room. Alright, so here I'm giving you a quick look of what my living room looks like before I start adding in some new fall decor. I'm pretty much leaving all the decor the same and just adding in some new pieces, except for that gray side table right there. I'm not really happy with that area, so I'll be totally redoing the top of that little side table. I'll start over here at the fireplace area. I'll dust off the mantel and add the prettiest little neutral fall garland that I picked up online at Marshall's. And then once the mantle's complete, I'll put the decor back on the bottom hearth and add some pumpkins to that pretty basket that I got at Kirkland's a couple of years ago. I'm keeping it very simple over here because I already love the way the mantle looks and I'm just needing to add some pumpkins in this area. Alright, so now that the garland's up, I'm just going to fluff it out just a little bit, get the leaves rearranged and get it to look more full. I'm sure those pumpkins are supposed to go like face up, but my mantle is very narrow, so I really couldn't get it to sit on top of my mantle like it probably should be. But anyway, I still think it turned out so, so pretty. I just love the neutral look of this garland because I did go with a neutral look throughout my house this year for fall. A lot of the garlands that you get are more the traditional look and they're really bright, so I was very happy to find this one. Okay, now that I took out those rust florals, I'm just going to add these two gorgeous pumpkins that I picked. They're actually pumpkin picks that I got from Hobby Lobby. I just love the way they're kind of a cream colored pumpkin with these great leaves that make them look so realistic to me. Now, if those pumpkins would not did not have those green leaves on there, I probably would have left those rustic florals in the basket too, but because the pumpkins had greenery on them, I just chose to just use the pumpkins instead of combining it with the rust florals. 
and I'm going to show you here, guys, that I struggled trying to get these two pumpkins to look right. I thought it was going to look really good having one on each side, but that didn't work out. So you'll see me how I just kind of arrange and arrange until I get it just right. And that a brand new world was in this stretch of road Let's keep the horizon in my sights I ain't wished I could stay away Written my thoughts of you some way But so far, so bad What can I say are the best that I've had I cannot help Okay, so let's move over to the TV area. I'm also going to keep it very simple here. I would have loved to put a little garland or a little something across the TV stand. However, our TV signal would not have, it would have interfered with our TV signal and that would not have been good for Derek. So I'm just going to leave that blank on top of the TV, add nothing there, but I am going to add a few pumpkins and some really pretty floral stems that I got at Hobby Lobby. They're just a gorgeous rust color on the bottom down there on top of my TV box. What can I say? So this is the table that I wasn't really happy with once I decorated it. I felt like I really needed some height here in this area. So I picked up a pottery vase with berries and two beautiful rattan pumpkins from Target. And once I completed this area, I was much happier with it. Self-made woman mm -hmm. You should know I 
moving on to the coffee table, I'm just going to add this gorgeous blue velvet pumpkin that a friend of mine made. I think it makes a great statement here on the coffee table, and I'll add two little miniature blue pumpkins to match it. I really like keeping our family pictures here on this side table, so I'm just going to dust it really well and just add a sweet little gray ceramic pumpkin. Fun to like my content so far. I would love it if you would take a second and hit that thumbs up button. That helps out this video so, so much. And also, if you happen to be new, I'd love for you to leave me a comment in the comment section. I love speaking to all of my friends down there and having great conversations. Also, uh, if you have an Instagram account, I would love for us to follow each other over on Instagram. My handle is at Robin Lalo, and I'll leave that here on the screen. Okay, now let's move over to this table. As you walk in my den to the left is where this table and mirror are. And I love the, the way it's decorated now. However, I really struggle to redecorate this. I bought some beautiful acorns that I just thought were gorgeous with some gold flakes on them and some beautiful pumpkins that almost match the florals that are in that amber vase. But when I go to rearrange those in that dough bowl, it just does not turn out the way I planned. So for any of my decorators out there, as you're watching me struggle to get this area complete, I would love to hear your suggestions in the comment section of how I could actually get these acorns because look how beautiful they are guys. I just love them and these pumpkins to somehow work in this area. I may just not be able to put them together in that bowl. I'm just not really sure. Maybe some greenery at the bottom, but any suggestions would be very appreciated. I would really like to redo this area before I film my home tour. Across the river, I can hear a different song. Slow rain's falling as I'm walking home. Born in light, still.
I'm not going to do much in this area, but dust and light a candle. This is where I like to keep my live plants because they really like this window right here. This candle is called Home Sweet Home. It's from the Copper Candle Company. If you do not follow them on Instagram, you must do that and order one of their candles. They're all fabulous. All right, and I'm gonna do some quick vacuuming because I do have two dogs that live in the house. If you're still watching my video, thank you so, so much. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. That helps out my videos so, so much. I sure hope you enjoyed this cozy decorate with me. If you haven't taken the time to hit the subscribe button yet, I would love for you to do that before you click off this video. And if you already hit that subscribe button while you were watching this video, make sure you leave me a comment in the comment section. There's also a bell notification button that you can, that you can hit and YouTube will notify you every time I upload a video. This way, hopefully, fingers crossed, when I post my home tour next week, YouTube will notify you immediately when I upload it, and you can start watching from the beginning. Here I am again, outside your Hey guys, I greatly appreciate you watching all the way to the end. That helps me out so, so much. Don't forget, hit that thumbs up button and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.